Hey folks, me phone here. While Son of Beast was not currently not here for for game number five as he's finished here for tonight, I will be taking over to give things off a world, and he will be back here on NBA of the NBA playoffs of the conference semifinals, and also with him, it might be a hard matchup to take him from here. Now the next matchup of game number five, it's the Bolts and the Maple Leafs. The series are tied once more, and there could be a lot of heavy matchups in between the zones from the Leafs and the Bolts. So, who is going to lead it again? We will find out after the game is over, in between each rest of the periods and the end of the regulation. And now, we'd like to send things off to Scotty at Bank Arena, where Jay Sapolsky and Greg Ferraro stand by. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy Game 5, everyone. Let's get started. Now let's send you down to start this game. I will be heading back here for the post-game show here for tonight after the final buzz sound is over for Game 5 of the Leafs and Lightnings. Greg Ferraro, Greg Ferraro, Jay Sapolsky, it's all yours. Let's get things on the roll. Enjoy your game, folks. Hi everybody, welcome back to EA Sports coverage of the NHL's Eastern Conference. I'm James Sabolski along with Ray Ferraro. This should be a fun one this evening. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Shilavec is ready to drop the puck. The Lightning have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. To the low slide, gets up nothing in front. As soon as he can turn himself towards the net, he is gone. They don't catch him, but the goalie makes the save on a nice effort. They fight for it along the boards. Handles the puck at the point. Quick pass to Bunting. Takes a wrist shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Vasilevsky. Right in front. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to slide it away. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance. It's turned away. The Leafs have it against the wall. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. And still using a stick to poke the puck away. Takes the pass. Down the right side and into the zone. Takes it to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. That's blocked by Vasilevsky. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still looking for our first goal. Tavares wins it in the offensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Brody. Tampa Bay's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Stamkos. Denies him on a slapper. Campbell's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you've got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. No goals yet. It could be one in the between the teams. The Leafs win the draw. Brody's taking it from his own end. Let's it go! Denied by the goaltender. Campbell's on top of the puck and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Tavares wins the draw on their own end. Loose puck battle along the boards. Taken by Sally. And a great save! Drives it to the crease! And that's blocked! Scooped up along the wall by Sorelli. On the attack along the boards. What a great example of unending pressure. Puck grab by Brody. He takes a moment to backtrack and maintains possession. Oh, relentless pressure and they come up with a turnover. Kasha swooping in on the attack. Fires it. Stops a cold. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Puts the puck on that. Good save. Quick reflexes.
There's still plenty, plenty of time left. Only 15, 20 to go. No score. Points won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. He was totally locked in on that play. Campbell's able to make the save look really easy. Now he doesn't have to deal with the rebound either. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Nice solid entry from the left. Hammers the shot. That goes wide. Taken along the wall by Hall. Off the stick and he can't get it. He was locked in there. Now a quick pass to point. Tampa Bay's got him in the offensive zone. A chance right in front. That's blocked by Campbell. Really like his positioning here as he's able to get the glove up there to make the save. But it doesn't have to be a spectacular, crazy save because he's in a good spot. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Takes the feed. And now he angles it across to Brody. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Into the attacking area from the left side. The Leafs have it from their own end. Buntings carry it ahead. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. That's the lesson he's known for making unbelievable desperation saves when the play calls for it. That's his contortionist zone ability, and guys, we know that's what makes him end up on those highlight reels. He shoots it, by the net. The Bulls get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Leafs have it in the offensive end. Kalorn's got it in the defensive end. Gains the zone from the right. Here's a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Maintains possession. Nice pass. Puck picked up by Riley. And that's not the side with the stick by Tavares. With the puck under siege. Can he get out of the zone here? The Leafs have it now. Tampa Bay's got a hold. Right over there. Handles the puck. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Handles it over to Kasha. Takes the feed. Swung away with the stick in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry from the middle. Along the half wall with the puck. Plus saved by Vasilevsky. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Still lots of time left in the period. We're still scoreless. The Bulls get a hold of the puck in their own end. Passes it over to Perry. Makes a move in front. Turned aside with a glove by Campbell. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good. Here they get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Hall stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Ponte. Can't connect on the pass. Here's a short pass to Belmar. And no luck on that pass attempt. And that pass can't connect. The Bulls take it along the wall. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Moves it to Perry. And that one's blocked! The Leafs take it along the wing. Gets the full use of his stick on the post check. And not much on that one. Quick pass to Matthews. Toronto's got the puck in the corner. Sends the pass over. Maple Leafs goal! His first goal in the playoff score by number 58, Michael Bunte. His first assist by number 77, Austin Meadows. And by 
by number 33, and Captain. Time of the goal, 14.05 remaining. Playing a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. In Toronto, people say gold. Do you feel the game and about the team to go? You go by number two, still go. Give me a little feedback. My little bundle. Here's a shot. Here's 16. Very deep. 72. A little selling. And all the mills. And we made three feet and made three notes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pacho. So, so three feet and three feet. Oh, and in the the series, and then it goes, they left scoop standing. Guess the puck in deep. The Lightning have taken possession along the wall. Pass across to Lindbergh. Can't get it to go. Moves into the slot, and that's off a stick. Big time stop. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. The ball scooping up along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. What a stop as he puts out the fire! Sends a pass over. The Lightning have the puck in their own zone. Tampa Bay's got it across the line. Too much congestion in front. The Leafs take it along the wall. Here's a chance, and that one's turned away. Stamkos takes the puck. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Riley's got the puck. Manages to hang on. Grabbed along the board by Riley. Going with a stop. Takes the feed from his netminder. Works it across to Riley. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. And the puck's kicked free. Battle along the boards. There's so many hits for the games, the bolts, but only two happen to be Maple Leafs. They might need to get more pressure to steam it. Tampa Bay's won the face-off deep in their own end. Here's a short pass to Maroon. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Takes it to the net. Here's a blast. Too much traffic in the lane. Bolting's taking it from his own end. Over the line they come. And here's a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. It's risky. Over that minute, don't stay at a big, big all day. One more minute to go in the first period. First Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Taken by Hall. They carry 
Sirs is about to come along the wing. And Sirs up a little knock on the play. Moves it to Belmar. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. That's turned away with a pad by Campbell. Good reach and a stick to knock the puck away. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Stick around later. We got some another great matchups. First school of the Maple Leafs. They're looking for a chance to take the lead. We'll be right back with you. On now to the second period. Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, Jake Sawalski ready to bring you the call for period number two. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? If you look at that first period, you would think after all the chances there'd be more than one goal. You gotta tip your hat to both goaltenders. Oh, to Mason with the paddle save. The Leafs are in transition. Puck grabbed by Kucherov. Great defensive effort with the stick. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Bunting. Pass back to the point. Let's it go. Good luck. Not a good result, though. And they can't cash in if they can't get it on the net. Really good play to set up the chance. But nothing for it. Here's a shot. Turned aside with a glove by Vasilevsky. Marner's hockey IQ is among the league's best guys. We know that. And he uses his deceptive and difficult passes to set up his teammates for the most success. That's his third eye zone ability, and that's how he contributes to this club. The Bolts, they're playing from the defensive zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Palat's got it in the offensive end. Quick pass to Kucherov. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. They work the puck into a scoring spot. They're a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. We're still in the early stages of this period. Toronto's ahead 1-0. The Bulls will go to work here in the offensive zone. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Uses the force on that hit. Delayed penalty looming. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Look out, they can create some trouble here. Extra attackers on the Tampa Bay penalty. Two minutes. Anthony Sherwell. Two minutes for interference. It's a Leafs power play. Toronto sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power plays first chance to check in. Two minutes for Anthony Purple for interference for the Tampa Bay. Power play for Toronto. Power play's got to go back to get set up. Anthony Purple, even out the other day, give it a few minutes here. Mm -hmm. Give it a few minutes to me. Be a big power play. Even Toronto. into the face-off dot and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Tavares has won the face-off. Oh, fantastic save by Vasilevsky. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Tavares will look to win the draw to continue this power play. The frozen deuce gets dropped and we are back underway here. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. He scores! But the special, it's special team. Now the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They move the puck nicely. And the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. He made a great, accurate pass and picks up the assist thanks to his tape to tape super. Maple Leafs power play goal! His first goal in a playoff score by number 88. William Nylander. It's, and his first assist by number 34, Tommy Colcano. Time of the goal, 6.45 remaining. Toronto, power play goal. Yvonne Bennett and Colcano. He's got an idiot. 
Okay, William Nylanderov. Good. Mm. Infinity a 68 by a note near 34. Then don't like that. Team on Hmm. Come on. Oh. Six Scorpionte. It is Siggy Pure. For six, and whatever else they like, Poop Standing. Tampa Bay goal, his first goal of the season, goal for the playoffs, scored by number 50, Andre Lacar. And his first assist here by, you know, by number 80, by number 81, and, and Stamkos. And by number 33, 18, Andre Palau. Time to go, 5 for 18 remaining. 5.04 remaining in the second period. Time to make all the game and the time to be a cool player. Mm, stay cool. Mm, let me do it. Yeah, number 23. Chris Kuhlblatt. Mm, uh, Andre. Mm, 40 is 68 by number 81. Mm, yeah, Ocho. Mm, Ocho Uno. Mm, Ocho Uno. Compton Stamkos. Stamkos. Comedy goal. Oh, goal. Six. 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 Tampa Bay goal is first goal in a playoff, scored by number 81, Steven Stamkos. His first assist here by number 14, Andre Bukurla. Time to go 8-10 to go in the 8-10 remaining in the first second period. Tampa Bay to you goal. The third goal to give the eliminate goal. Steven Stamkos, Empress. Here in the CC of a player with a 34, NJ, NJ Krill. Team to go, Ocho, the Ocho DA. Hey, CC in period, the CC is a little bit of a hoop standing. Tampa Bay goal is his second goal in the playoffs, scored by number 10, scored by number 18, Andre Palala. Time of the goal. Time of the goal. Oh, where they can go. The goal. Nine, three, three remaining in second period. Time of base goal. He got Kenyon. 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 He in the S. 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 In the Possession here in their own end. 
Maple Leaf score! His third goal in the playoff score by number 27, Austin Matthews! Time and goal, 10 34 remaining in second period. Maple Leaf score! He's even 18th to 30th in the day. Good toys, even at 30th. Austin Matthews! Toys even at 30 Austin Matthews! Time and goal, he is. Yeah, he's very cool for the set. He's saying, he's a ghost period. He's saying, he's a lot of ghosts, they're like poop standing. Guys, we know he can stick handles so well. That's his puck on a string superstar ability. And with a nifty move, he was able to create that chance on that. Tampa Bay goal is for his second goal in the playoffs. Scored by number 65. By Kelly Kroger. His first assist here by number... Number 49, Kyle Lauren, and my number 40, and my 33, Helen Kerfer. Time and goal, 12, 43 remaining in second period. Tampa Bay goal. Tampa Bay goal. Hmm. He's he's seeing he he's in the McDoys. He by the end of the in the Colorado. He he been down down. He's very really good. Cool. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. One of those. Mm -hmm. One of those. He went to college. And same period. He's seriously living right there. That's Coop Stanley. Right now, what's the message, Greg? Coaches are going up and down the bench. Tampa Bay goal. Players to stay on it. Don't back up. Stars is second of the game. Thirteen minutes. Thirteen forty-three remaining in the third, second period. Maple Leafs goal, his third goal in the playoff score by number 88, William Nylander. His first assist here by number 77, Austin Matthews, and by number 491, Alan Jacobcock. Time of the goal, 1303 remaining. That's what I go. Who would I do in a trace? He would be in the trace of Kion. He would be in a series. The limit out to the full stand. Tampa Bay goal is second goal in the playoffs. Score by number 10. Time of the goal 1345 seconds in the second period. Takes a shot! Great save by Campbell! Puck picked up by Nylander! Here's a goal! Oh, it's one on track! Watch a single! Watch a single! He's going to off here! I'm going to bury all day! And it's there, it's like a poop stand-up! It's good to be greedy! You get one, you chase that next one! Put your foot down on the opponent. So nice, they sniped twice. The Lightning haven't just been playing with confidence tonight. They're all about seven feet tall and bulletproof, it seems. But they haven't made a wrong play. Tampa Bay goal is first goal in the playoffs. Score by number 77, Victor Hedman. His first tier assisted by number 41, Alan Hickman. Point. And by number 43, in the offensive. Time of the goal, 16.43 remaining in second. Time of the show goal. He can post me in the Lamadores. So you are biggest man. Number 77. Victor Hedman. Victor Hedman. He worked with Francis Yolami from LGs. From DA. From DA Dose. Right in the slot. 
Oh, Brandon Point. Yeah, Point. You've got to make the goalie make a play. Tommy Rose on. Two spin goal. Oh. Uno's. Uno de los seis primeros campeones. Y el ser campeón en el Series Elementores de la Coupe Stanley. There's still much for time left. Second period's almost winding down. Gilmars, what a big draw on their own end. Moves it quickly over to Perry. Great puck check on the reach. Keeps hold of the puck. Let's it go. They score on the end. He gets a hold of his own rebound and makes it count the second time. this period to end, do they? Now they're having a great time and this is going to go into the intermission and they'll have a relaxing 18 Jumbo goal is his first goal in the playoffs, scored by number one, Perry, Perry, Perry. And that's a great read to time in a goal, 19, 40, 19, 19 left to play in the second. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Yeah, that group's standing. Yeah, resting. Unimate does not and the answer may be out Last minute to play. One more minute to play in a second period. Caps won the face off. Toronto's got it in their own zone. And that plays offside. We got a face off coming up. Officials are in position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face off here. The Leafs win the draw here in the neutral zone. Brody's picking up steam. Here we go, it's a two on one. Oh, but somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Wow, Tampa Bay Bolts are in are in a range of sight. The next one could be the win if they beat against the Maple Leafs when we return. Third period coming up next. All right, guys, third period's about to start. Let's get finishing. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Tampa Bay's focus now is just locked down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. And still using a stick to put the puck away. Battling for it along the boards. The boards gain control of the puck. Here they come on the attack. Moves it to Palat. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Nice zone entry on the left side. There's a shot. Blocker saved by Vasilevsky. Picked up along the boards by Martin. Puts it up front. The eyes of he got all of it. The Bolts have it against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Another crash! Ooh. No surprise here, James. He's been doing this since about 7 o'clock tonight, time after time. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Grand along the board by Bunting. And now it's grabbed by Riley. Into the offensive zone. 
Here's a shot. Got some big air, but this ain't ski racing. Nah, he's trying to get right up underneath the bar, trying to get it over the goaltender's shoulders, but just elevates it a little bit too much. With the blast, and that banks off a stick. Hedman's fly by to the bench is over. He's got a new toy. He's back in the game. Let's the wrister go. Turns it away. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Tavares wins possession of the defensive zone. Takes the cross-ice pass. Here's a short pass to Ruda. From the left side, they gain the zone. Quick pass to Sorelli. And that carries off a stick. From off the boards, takes the feed inside the zone. Tampa Bay is going to play the puck from behind the cage. Cuts into the paint. Puck scooped up by Hall. Tosses it to Nylander. They go on the attack through center. Puts it on there. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Picked up along the wall by Nylander. Tavares will play it to the side. The Lightning have gained possession off the wall. Handles the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nylander's picking up momentum through center. Good hit. Wow, bolt strike. No this is going to be a very tough one. Now he takes it over the line. <clears throat> Taken by Maroon. Makes the save. Pushes it across to Kemp. Tosses it on to Ruda. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Feeds it down low. The Leafs will take it behind the net. Here's a shot. And that will stop. The ball scooping up along the boards. Tampa Bay is going to hold the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves right to the middle. Oh, he got huddled by Campbell. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Kerfoot swinging the puck through center ice. Quick feed to the Kaya. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Vasilevsky. Sends the pass over. Sent into the offensive zone. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Brody. Dishes it to Kerfoot. Slurry pass! What a close save by Vasilevsky! The centers will glide into the dot. Games are coming up here on the board on the bottom hand. Take possession off the face off. And now he moves it quickly to Pallot. Points, gaining momentum. The Leafs have it now. The Bolts have it in the offensive zone. And scores! That's four strength on fire! They are so hot right now. Every pass, every shot is right in the perfect place. Guys, that's an example of what happens when he uses his speed there. His wheel zone ability really allows him to break away from the outside. Devil Bay goal. His first goal in the playoffs, scored by number 21, Braden Point. Time of the goal, 9.08 remaining in second quarter. Time of age of goal. He did not one of the great limitations. He does the next 91, Braden and Point. He got the goal. He made it a goal. Nueve, ocho. The fourth period in series is the Limitores de la Coupe Stanley. Work a lot harder to beat him tonight, I guess. There's two excellent saves in a row. Games are upheld here. They will be right under here in game six for tomorrow night. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, just a textbook hit. Vasilevsky's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. 
This big hit's going to be a very pro tough problem in between. Might be looking for another one. Matthews has won the draw. Maple Leafs goal! Base first goal of the playoffs, score by number 71, Michael Riley! Assisted by number 87, Coleman White. Time of the goal! 12.43 remaining in the third. Maple Leafs, Jake Goal. Egan Vesky goal in the Lemmatoys. Hmm. Really number 20. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. The lane is blocked up and that shot's blocked. Uno, Uno, Sede. Slides it on over to Marner. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. Mr. John Paul Riley. He played first here on the 60th year, then 30 times. Me and Hogan. See you when I get a goal. Hmm. Numero. 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 So sorry, I was pronouncing it wrong for the French translation, but it, but it won't change the results. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Here's a shot. Oh my God, he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Yeah, so sorry, guys. I, I couldn't pronounce things in French. I got to keep on learning that one here. It's going to be too much for me to answer. There might be some time going on if the Leafs can try to make a goal. They got to do it quick and fast. Points wanted in their own end. And now it's over to Kucherov. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Turned aside with a glove. And the goalie covers it up for the whistle. Puck possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Steps inside. Here's a shot. And the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Still more plenty of time here for left. And it's coming down 353 left in the third. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. Up along the wing. 
Here they come on the attack. Takes a shot. Gets a blood on it to make the save. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Kerfoot. Puck skips into the bench and will get a reset. In between attacks can be a very typical challenging. The Leafs are in trouble. Puck is shot, play resumes. And he slides it quickly to Stamkos. The Bolts move to the offensive zone. Drives to the sweet spot. Big time saving goal as he gets all in with the stick. Campbell's able to make the save look really easy. Now he doesn't have to deal with the rebound either. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carla Bade. Hedman's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Bulls get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it over to Kalor. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. There's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. The time is ticking away. There might not be another chance for the Leafs to win. The ball win it. Cut picked up by McDonough. And he stands tall in goal. Takes the feet up ahead. The Bolts gain possession along the wall. Receives the pass. Here's a shot. Glove save. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Coming down to one minute left. Almost that time to make the end. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Answered the call on that play. Nearing the final minute of the third. For the rest of the minute, Don's left, just semi periodic. One minute remaining in the third period. Guys, that's a great assist to set up that goal. 
Tampa Bay goal is for a goal in the playoffs. Score by number for for the pellet. And by number 21, Braden Point. Time of the goal, 1959 remaining in the third. Well, that shot was the Bolts crushing the Leafs. It's a 10-5 game. What a stop. And now the Bolts are in a lead right now, 3-2. And now we are about to check out the three star players of the game and see who had the best. I know, it was kind of long to see how much goal they had in between those two. We're not sure what just happened, but it just all turned out that they have it in through. Now the third star coming into the game right at this moment we have is Victor Hedman. One goal, two assists and nine hits. Took out big hits here for this one. Number two is Braden Point. One goal, three assists and two hits. Just like he did before. And all it did turn out was the breakaway chance. And number one. This one all turns out all three players. Andre Pollock. Three goals and two assists. Just with a hit, and it just happened to be just like he did. So that ends up game five of each game. Stay tuned for game six, as this matchup will be happening here for tonight, of uh, tomorrow, happening here right on Son of Beast here of EA Sports of NHL. We will have, it's the Predators at home playing against the Minnesota Wilds. Then across the head from the Eastern Conference we have is the Leafs and Lightnings of the Bolts back at the Amali Arena here in Tampa Bay for Game 6. Then we have of course this the Avalanche and Stars here back at Dallas. And finally the Oilers and Kings here at Rogers Place. So thank you for watching for this part of the Stanley Cup Playoffs of Game 5. We will see who else will get a make in. Or, or get out as this game comes wrapping up for the conclusion here of game five of NHL's postseason. This is me phone saying thanks for watching and peace out everyone for as a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Thank you for watching. Have a great night Toronto and Tampa Bay Lightning of the Bulls.